one young British army officer stationed in Germany in 1946, found himself turned into an interpreter overnight on the strength of his bilingualism. Rudy Lederer recalls how it all began. And one day I was called to my commanding officer who said, do you speak German? I said, yes, sir. He said, all right, you will join the commander in chief's train tonight. He's on his way through to Hamburg. He needs an interpreter and you will do it. And I said, oh, sir, I don't know whether I can do that. He said, can you speak German or can't you? I said, yes, I can. He said, off you go. And that was it. So Rudy Lederer's call to arms was the first meeting between the British Commander-in-Chief and Dr Adenauer. And the idea was to start with, you know, refloating the British zone of Germany as a democratic institution with uh, local government and all sorts of things, schools, transport, roads, everything, and how to set this up and do this. And we sat there for about two or three hours, everything, of course, in consecutive, and me standing to attention behind the general's chair. And uh, when it was all over, I was half dead, he said, uh, all right, you can stay with me. And from that moment on, I was his interprète accredité. In practice, this meant four years of liaison work between the British and the German authorities. Looking back, Rudy Lederer measures the privilege. I think in the early days, I did make a little contribution towards the incipient reconciliation between England and Germany. And by establishing a reasonable contact between the British and Adenauer, who didn't know what to do with the British. He, he, he didn't know whether to like them or not to like them. He, you know, he, 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 they were strange animals to him. He couldn't quite understand them. And uh, I think I've com contributed a little bit by making the contact smooth and, and, and agreeable to bring about uh, the beginnings of reconciliation.